everybody thanks for coming back to my channel so today's video is going to be my monthly makeup basket i did one last january and it was the start to the series like the introduction to the series so i'm really excited to change it up a little bit some products have stayed the same because they are in my project 10 pan and i do want to focus on them but putting products in this monthly makeup basket has definitely helped me use them and one of them I've already hit pan on so I'm very excited about that. So let's just jump in. If you don't know, this is my makeup basket right here. There's kind of a lot of stuff in it and if you'll notice, I don't have the Air Patrol anymore. I have completely used that up so yay for that. So I'll start with like the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be using are my Lorac Mega Pro just so I can focus on it a little bit more. Here's the, a sneak peek of the progress. That's it though, you don't get anything else. Been kind of neglecting it a little bit, but I try to use the, the brow highlight shades because those are really easy to use. As for the other shadows, I gotta work on them a little bit more. And I wanted to throw in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. This is what it looks like. I recently filmed a tutorial on this, which will be going up very shortly. I have recently fallen in love with these shadows. So another thing with this monthly makeup basket is that I put in things that I have neglected or maybe hated and it kind of changes my mind on the products. I'm still like not super obsessed with this palette but I do like it and I'm happy to use it right now. So yay for that. There's some neutrals in here and I love that yellow shade. It's a nice golden yellow right there. So yeah, you'll see tutorials with this coming up soon. I threw that in to use with my Lorac Mega Pro. And as for some single shadows, might as well just do all the shadows right now. I have my Milani uh, Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. And I have two, this is Bella Ivory. It's a really nice brow highlight. They feel so soft. I gotta use these more, like that's kind of the point of putting them in, like how, look at how creamy that is. And this one is called Bella Expre Espresso. There they are. So I definitely want to try to use these more because, I don't know, I just I just neglect a lot of things in my collection. So next are some things in my Project Ted Pan. Um, this is Urban Decay's Last Call. I have already hit pan on this one, so that's super exciting. I've been neglecting this, though, since I have hit pan on it every now and again. But there's that really pretty burgundy shade. Let me go ahead and swatch that for you. Super pigmented. I really like this shade. It's really pretty. I might have to repurchase this eventually. But this one is just really old. I mean, it's in the old Urban Decay packaging. They have recently repackaged their single shadows, so that's kind of embarrassing. Next is a Smashbox shadow that I have no idea what the name is. As you can see, this has been around for way too long. But this is a nice champagne color. I like wearing this all over my lid if I have to go teach or if I have an interview or something like that. That's really nice. Um, I am trying to clear this out because when I started <clears throat> this project, 10 pan, um, I had already hit pan on it, but now I just want to finish it because it's been in my collection for too long. Then so another single shadow that's in my project, 10 pan, is the Sephora Mirror shadow. This is in the shade Hollywood's Calling. And it's a really pretty gold metallic shade, however, it has a lot of brown in it, so it's really hard to pull off sometimes. Yeah, it's more like a bronzy shade instead of a gold. It's pretty, but it's hard to wear. Look at those weird swatches. Anyway, it's right there. It's kind of hard to wear all over the lid, so maybe it would be better as like an um, outer V shade to deepen up my outer V area. But I don't know, I have to play with this a little bit more and use it a lot more because, again, there's... You can see some rough patches in there, but I do not think I am anywhere near panning this. <laughs> and it's a sample, so that's sad. Um, moving on from, well, I guess this is my inked in pink color tattoo, and I've had this for far too long. It's so dry, but I need to use it because I want the satisfaction. So here's a sneak peek. Um, of my progress. I have uh, locked off a whole side and you can slightly see a pan in there. So we're, we're getting there. I'm wearing it today. I've worn it like three days in a row because I really wanted some progress in it and I finally got some of these crease on me. So that's why I don't really like them and they're also just very dry. I like jumbo sticks better than cream pots. For eye an eyeliner that I want to finish because I recently noticed 
that I have quite a few eyeliners. This one was in my Naked on the Run palette and I have depotted that palette. And, and this came with it. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in Stag. And it was a sample, so, it, you know, it was probably that big. But I really like this color. It's a really deep black brown. And I love it. I love these eye pencils, but I have so many of them that I just, I need to work through them a little bit. So I thought this would be a good start and good motivator to get that started. Oh, I forgot an eyeshadow. I'm going to try to work on or incorporate more into my eyeshadow routine, the Clinique uh, Jute Brown Limited Edition, apparently. It looks like this. My grandma gave it to me, and I actually really like the look that you get. I've used it once before, so I know I like this. And you get one matte right here. This is kind of a satin right here, so it's semi-matte and semi-shimmery. You can see the shimmer in the pan, but... Once it's on your lid, you don't really see it. I'm going to use this more. I really like it. However, it does remind me of the Maybelline Eye Studio in um, Fall Temp Temptations. It's very similar. You get a very similar look. So if you have this one, um, you probably don't need this one. This could be a dupe. And see what I can do with it with like the Anastasia palette or the Lorac palette. So we're, we'll see how that goes. A product that I added in is the Smashbox Contour, contour Palette. You get a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight. This was my mom's, actually. I kind of stole it from her. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. But she doesn't use it, so I decided to take a whack at it. And I've been using the bronzer a little bit. Um, the shadows are pretty creamy, a little bit powdery. There's the bronzer right there. So, and the contour... And sometimes I mix the two together. This one is clearly deeper and more cool, cooler tone. And then this is a really pretty highlight that I like wearing under my eyes. There's not much color payoff on that. Oh, I guess there is, but it's not very glowy. So I just want to dip my fingers in this a little bit more and see, if, see what I can do with it. Um, a powder that I've stuck in here is the... Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. I believe this was in my last monthly makeup basket, but I can't remember exactly. Uh, but if I did since then, uh, I hit major pan on this product. And that's why I like doing these monthly makeup baskets because they really make me use products that I wouldn't normally use in my collection. So, and I actually really don't like this. I feel like it doesn't settle into my skin very well. It just sits on the skin really funny and doesn't blend in all the way. It's really weird. And it's not radiant. It says radiant weightless finish. I think that's false. <laughs> it's not weightless either. I feel like there's powder on my face. A blush that I have <clears throat> that's been in here also is the Maybelline Face Studio highlight in mauve and this is in my project 10 pan um you'll get a little sneak peek uh this is so deep how much product do you get 0.31 ounces i wonder how much you get in a regular blush i feel like there's a lot yeah the tart ones have 0.20 ounces so you get 10 more ounces in a Maybelline blush, and they're super pigmented. Let's see about a L'Oreal. 0.21 ounces in the L'Oreal ones. Let's see in the Milani, and then we'll move on. 0.12 in the Milani one, and you get 0.31. I knew there was, like, way more product in this than a regular blush, so keep an eye out for that if you are trying to pan this, but this is taking me forever. It is so deep. You can see the metal around it, and I do have two dips right there. And that's where I'm trying to focus my brush so I can hit pan there. But this is taking me forever. I love it. I'm wearing it today. This is the Benefit Sugar Palm um, Boxed Blush. I don't really like these boxed blushes. I feel like there's a lot better things on the market than these. But this is what it looks like. I have hit pan on this. I don't know if I showed you this in my last update. This is in my Project 10 pan as well. It kicks up a lot of powder. And it just doesn't really do anything for me. It's like right there. I don't, you can't even see it. That's the problem. On my skin tone, it doesn't really show up. It's taken me forever, and I don't think I'll ever purchase this ever. I decided to throw in my NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Adoration. I love these. Um, it's a hot pink. I wore this the other day. I think I wore this in my Valentine's Day tutorial. I just randomly threw it up. 
randomly threw it in here, not threw it up. That's gross. So I can link that somewhere on the page or down below if you're interested. And then this highlight I'm actually wearing today. And I don't know, this, this highlight is like meh. It kind of falls short compared to the blush. But I am trying to get my use out of this one and to try to remember to use this one. Since it is such a hot, hot pink color, it's kind of hard to use, but I do want to remind myself to use it a little bit more. I am sticking with my Ambient palette from e.l.f. because I just don't gravitate towards this one on my own. So I wanted to put this in my monthly makeup asset to make myself use it more. And I have used it a couple of times and the pink shade in the palette is... One of my favorites. I hate this one, but I love this one, and I love all the other ones, so we'll see. I'm still trying to play with it a little bit more, but I'm not in love with this, so eventually I might have to just declutter it if I'm not using it to its fullest potential. And since my last monthly makeup basket, I have included two lip products just to see what happens with them, if I use them more, etc. This is one of my oldest products. This is the Revlon Lip the Revlon HD Lip Gloss in Petalite. It's a really pretty peach color. I love the diamond on them. It does have a smell, uh, so just be aware of that. I can't smell right now because I have a cold, but it does have a brush tip applicator, which I don't really like, but it's fine. The payoff, the color payoff is what matters, and there it is right there. It's a really pretty peachy pink kind of color and I wear this over top of a lot of things. I have used it quite a bit since it's been in my monthly makeup basket. And then I have the Revlon H Ultra HD matte lip colors and if you follow me on Snapchat you'll know that I did a kind of check-in first impression on this lipstick. However, I did it on a different color and the lasting power on this is amazing. I love these. They're so creamy. They're one of my favorite lip products from the drugstore. This is in the shade Devotion, and it's a really pretty, like, warm pink color. So you'll see the two of those kind of go hand in hand with each other. But that was one swipe of a lip... What do, they, what do you call these? A lip cream. And they last all day, and I love them. And I would definitely recommend them, but I just want to see what I can do with this, wear it a little bit more, and we'll see what happens. So that's... All that's in my monthly makeup basket for the month of February, um, and I started this like mid-January, which was kind of random, so I'm trying to keep up with that pattern. You'll see these videos in the mid middle of the month, so I hope you guys don't mind. I didn't want to start it in the beginning of the month because then it wouldn't be fair to those products. They wouldn't get a full month. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. And don't forget, I do upload twice a week. So you'll want to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. So I don't have the actual palette anymore. My shadows are in a Z-pot, but <laughs> Z-palette, Z-pot. <laughs> or no, this is a... Okay, I think the sticker is backwards because they're saying that this is the highlight. Um, but this is the contour. Wow, that's really out of order. But I don't like this. And I will not be repurchasing it. Come on, focus in.